So we have uh, our friends, our neighbors who came to the mosque open house in uh, Al-Aqsa Plainfield Mosque and we just want to get their feedback. You know, after they came here, met the Muslims, ate the food and especially listened to the presentation. What is your feedback? What are you taking back home with you? I think the most important thing I'm taking back is separating culture from Islam. That so many things are an influence of the culture rather than the scripture or whatever you call it. That was one thing I was going to say. The other thing, I think you're terrific. And I think that you are a living yes, example indeed. of what peace is all about because yes, you were really is. challenged and you maintained a sense of equanimity and peace inside you. I think that's the best thing anybody could ever see. What is a Muslim? A Muslim is a peacemaker, not a, not, a, not a fighter, but a peacemaker. And the third thing that's very important, I have two sisters. And you know what their names are? Medina and Mecca. Wow. <laughs> really? How? I mean, I'm just kidding. Is it, it is. My mother my mother was from Medina, Texas, and she named her daughter. Her name was Medina, and she named her daughter Medina. I guess she was on a roll, and after that, she went for Mecca. The but next one could be Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> Some other time, maybe. <laughs> Some other time. But I really, really enjoyed the presentation. You did a wonderful job. Thanks a lot for yeah. coming. I hope you enjoyed meeting also with the Muslims. I did, I did very much. I'm just really delighted to be a part of this uh, uh, welcome. It's so awesome. We are so honored that our guest came over here. And are you taking any gift? You know, we have some gift bags uh, over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we have uh, three left up there. <laughs> yeah. So thanks again for coming. And come back any other time, by the way. And what yeah. you're God guide and bless you. Yes. I'm glad I was invited to this interview, too, which yes. I'll shortly give to him. But I completely agree with you. Uh, I'm a retired university professor of history and languages and uh, I knew something about Islam but mainly in the West here and this gentleman is of superb knowledge and I know he knows languages well I'm so glad I got to come here even in my last years because I particularly like and ask the question about women in Medina to show that women, I said this long ago in my classes, women need to be up in government, up in the, etc. And the prophet did that 1,700 years ago. And also I'm so impressed by what you showed, the audience showed, it talked about in the audience that the, mo the uh, prophet's point of view and what he actually did, he gave women in, when they had to flee Mecca into Medina, uh, jobs, support, uh, respect, and etc. American women need to know this because we really come in our culture, and I'm glad you showed that, in our culture, despite where Christianity and back, we are a bunch of people who still have the idea, man, it's this way, you have to do it that way, and women fought very hard to win what they finally won. And I hope, I, I am both pleased and alarmed that it's taking our Muslim friends to bring to women just how important they've been in history. Thank you for inviting me to speak. I'm delighted to see you. Thank you. And Hopefully thank you see you again. Oh, I'm again sure you will. To thank come you. and visit us. And I love the whole history, you know, going back to the university so long, 7th seventh, seventh century, 8th century. And, you know, I think you gave a wonderful anchor of the importance of Muslims in the development, not just of the United States, but all over the world, you know, the history. Of that. So it was just and we wonderful. need that. So, uh, so I think the main gist of today's presentation is, you know, do not take uh, Islam from the culture uh, or Fox News or fake news. Right. If you want to know about Islam, come to the mosque, meet with Muslims Absolutely. who practice Islam. Right. You know, read the Quran, read into the noble life of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. And then you would see that Islam stands for morality and justice, yes. the oneness of God, the same God who created us. Yes. And he wants us to live as brothers and sisters. Wonderful presentation. Very hospitable, generous people. Thank you so much. Thanks again for coming. Yes. May God guide and bless you.